guys, Kiko here from Reviews and Stuff, and today I will be showing you guys how to jailbreak the brand new iPod Touch 2G. That's the second generation. It's the slim one. Sorry for the background, I'm in preview mode. Uh, hold on. Yeah. So, there you have it. Is the brand new one. Oh my god, let me put this away. Alright, there you go. This is the brand new one. It's 2G. And I will be using Quick Freedom. Uh, let me zoom in on that. There, Quick Freedom. My friend did it. He recommended this program. And, alright, let's get this started. Um, first of all, it asked me to download the iPod 2.1.1 uh, firmware. So I did. And, okay. Once you open the program, this is what you start with. The Quick Freedom window and you get to jailbreak ipod or troubleshooting and it tells you who made the program i take no credit um i, re I really take no credit for this program i'm just showing you guys how to use it it was created by dan cool 999 so i take no credit for this all right let's jailbreak ipod um it says lib usb not installed Make sure LIB USB is installed and you have the correct original 2.2.1. Alright, hold on. Let me browse for my 2.2.1 firmware. It's on my desktop. There it is. That's it. What now? I'm sorry. If the program froze, then it's because my computer really sucks. I'm using an old HP. Not then it's loading something. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna stop the video and I'll get back at you when it's done. All right, guys. Um, it did not freeze. It was loading. So yep. And over here it says LIB USB not installed. So I'm guessing we have to install. It says install. LIB USB, so make sure you install that. Alright, skip through this. Run test application? No. Not installed. I installed it though. Hmm. Alright, let's go, go through that again. Jailbreak iPod. Alright, it says installed and iPod found, so let's continue. Um, oh, let me move that. There. Click next. Uh, step 2, create custom firmware. To create your custom firmware, select if you want to include installer, use a custom boot logo, and then press create firmware. Um, install installer. Doesn't come with Cydia? Alright, a no boot logo, and then create. Alright, it's creating. I might cut this video if it takes too long. Guys, um, it has been completed. It created my custom firmware. It took about... 10 minutes for everything to finish it says your IPSW has been completed and patched successfully alright pressing ok and it allows you to press next uh, now you need to put your iPod into DFU mode iPod successfully put into pre jailbreak mode now restore your custom firmware in iTunes files located on your desktop Okay, open iTunes to restore to your. Alright, right click. No. Uh, custom restore by holding shift and pressing restore. It's going to open this right here, the browse window. And I'm going to press custom firmware.ipsw open. And it's going to do that. And I will get back to you guys when this is done. Alright guys, as finish restoring, uh, I am at the set up your iPod window. I will set up as a new iPod since 
I'm doing this for my friend. Um, sync songs, no applications, uh, no. All right, as you can tell, it's still normal. It's restored. When you unlock it, you have installer and Cydia. I did not want an installer, but you know, this the second generation. And another thing, I'll show you guys. I'll disconnect it, and I will rest. I will restart it to show you guys that it is untethered. You don't need to connect it every time you restart it. All right, slides power off. Has the backlight on. Now it's completely off. Then I will turn it on again. Apple logo. <clears throat> and there you have it. Thanks guys for watching, you can check back uh, in all my videos for anything you need, anything you need you can subscribe, uh, you could uh, request, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, message me if you want to request a review or a how to or anything like that, all important information will be in the sidebar, thanks guys for watching and take care.